Hey, what's up all? Thanks for coming back for another video. So I just want to throw up a quick uh, little video. Um, as you remember, I did a, uh, a lot of work on a backyard renovation back in the late fall last year. And um, not all of it came in. So this is what I'm, I'm dealing with right now. So there's a few things that I had noticed. Uh, I bought some garden soil. I was going to try to level things out um, along the patio here things have sunk back down where I put some uh, dirt in there try to level things out so I got some garden soil to try to uh, fill that in um, I was getting a lot of wash out through here uh, because it was kind of uh, valleyed out and uh, so all the grass seed was getting washed out um, so I did get some I got about 12 bags of uh, a miracle grow garden soil that uh, was on sale at the at the local Lowe's uh, it was like five bags for 10 bucks, so it was a pretty decent deal. Um, but looking through the rest of my yard, these areas where there is no grass growing, this is all pretty level. I started asking myself, why did this all get uh, washed out and or the grass die? Look through here, I mean, there's some peat moss here. No grass really grew, you got a tiny bit here and there. But, hear that? This ground is hard as concrete. And no, I did not add sand to my clay. But, looking at this, you've got the ground that is cracking all over the place. Here, through here, a bunch of other areas through here. And this dirt was put in back in the late fall. I had two yards of what I thought was quote-unquote topsoil brought in by a, uh, a local landscape slash excavation company that should have been my red flag excavation company was in the title of their company name um, so the stuff that I end up getting it was very uh, uh, light tan light brown um, it wasn't a dark uh, topsoil like I would expect like this you know dark uh, rich full of organic material um, so I did not get that instead I got that should have been a red flag I should have said something I should have sent it back but I didn't I put it down anyway and now this is what I got um, the pH on it is very alkaline it's right around about eight the rest of me, my yard is uh, pretty neutral at seven um, because of the amount of clay in the soil um so i'm and i'm fine with the seven but this i need to drop down because it's so locked up so hard i've had plenty of rain that quarter quarter inch maybe look at that that's insane and it's like that all over the yard it's a little bit softer there that's mostly probably because of the peat moss, but still, I can't get very deep into this soil. It's not like the rest of my yard where I can stick the screwdriver down pretty much the whole length without even trying. Um, so what is my game plan for this? Because the pH is uh, more alkaline, I need to lower that pH. I always get it confused because of the numbers. So if it's a high number, it's alkaline. If it's a low number, it's acidic. So I need to lower the pH to go to a lower number um, to make it a little bit more acidic. I'd like to get around six and a half to seven. Um, so here's my, my couple options that I got. I've got a couple bags of high yield soil sur sulfur, getting tongue tied. Uh, I will be putting this down so it's two four pound bags basically uh four pounds per thousand square foot is what i'm going to do um, i'm told to do no more than five pounds at a single time if uh you want to keep your existing grass uh, so i'm going to do the four pounds i have some citric acid as well that will be coming uh that'll be here tomorrow but i'd like to get this down today at least try to get things going because looking at this i mean I've got some areas that are growing and good through here. It's booming back here. And I'll have to show you the uh, the difference between this GCI grass and the rest of my yard. It is a night and day difference. Well, through here, there's a bunch that didn't grow in. Out around the place set, all around that, it didn't grow in very well. 
So let's take a look at this grass seed. You see that is very dark green. Let's go over the big area here. Look at that. That is so dark green. Now you compare that to the other side of the fence. That's about five shades darker. Sometimes the grass is greener on the other side of the fence, right? <laughs> but so other stuff over here. That's the GCI. That was growing in really good where it did actually tack down. Um, the rest of this was all GCI as well. Unfortunately, bad soil uh, gives you a, uh, a bunch of nope for grass growing. So I'm going to try to get this sulfur down. Uh, I'll put that down today. I'll put it down my spreader. I'll just turn my spreader settings down real low. Get a nice even coverage around it till I run out. So I know that I evenly distributed it. And then I'll come back in tomorrow with uh, some citric acid. And I'll spray that on the lawn. Um, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So then I'll be able to kind of water that citric acid in with the, uh, the rain as well. And hopefully we can start getting this uh, stuff loosened up. Drop the pH. And I might actually be able to do some reseeding. And uh, try to get this mess fixed up. Okay, so I put the sulfur down yesterday, uh, today is Sunday, uh, put the sulfur down, I did put down the full 8 pounds over 2,000 square foot, so that gives me 4 pounds per 1,000 square foot. I just dropped the uh, spreader settings down as low as it would go, did about 5 passes, and uh, seemed to get it down pretty decent. Um, you can kind of see some of it down here on the, uh, on the ground. So these little yellow frills there. Um, at some points it was kind of hard to put down. It seemed like it kind of packed up, so I don't know if it had a little bit of moisture to it, and it would kind of stick up, so I kind of had to shake the uh, spreader around a little bit. And, um, and then it finally came out, but I just did multiple passes. Got it all down. So hopefully that'll, that'll drop it down. Um, it uh, is supposed to take about six weeks to fully take effect. It should drop the uh, pH down about a point. Um, but it'll take at least the six weeks to show its full effect. But I am going to go through with the uh, the citric acid as well. Uh, probably not today because you can probably hear in the camera right now. It is extremely windy. Um, so I don't want to be spraying anything down if, if it's just blowing like crazy. Uh, but this is the uh, citric acid that I got. The Miller 10 pound um, all natural citric acid. So I'm going to put that down at a pound per thousand square foot. And uh, hopefully I'll drop the pH down quite a bit more and I can get some more grass seed down. I got my grass, uh, uh, my garden soil down and uh, kind of level that around the patio. So hopefully once I get this pH dropped back down to where it needs to be and kind of free up the soil, I will be able to put down some grass seed and try to get this mess situated. Um, but I'm not going to try to do any recording or anything trying to put down any citric acid this week. Case in point, the strong wind. So uh, I'm not going to do anything, but uh, so that'll kind of wrap it up for this video. I just kind of want to show what the uh, the soil looks like back here and kind of what I'm facing. And uh, so I will do another video to give a bit of a, uh, a follow-up as what things are looking like as the sulfur and the citric acid take its effect on the soil. So stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video.